has always been taught about the seventh generation. He was saying that at the end of the seventh generations, that's when we would finally mend our sacred hoop that has been disrupted. And it's kind of like how Earth has been disturbed. It takes a while to kind of mend itself. Good afternoon to everybody out there in Keeley land, everybody tuning in on 90.1 on your FM dial. My whole life has been how do we empower our youth in Indian country to stay Indian, keep their uh, tribal heart and perspective, yet go out there and learn the contemporary American system so that we can be involved and still be Indian at heart. Many of the health disparities that we have, including the behavioral illnesses and conditions, are from having lost our identity through government policies in the past in terms of destroying the native cultures that used to be that way. But I think it's changing. Our children are at a place today where they do not have to live in a shadow of shame whatsoever. We cannot be ashamed no more of who we are. We cannot be ashamed of our native tongues. What does success lead to? How do you find success? Success has to start from within. And so, you know, understanding your culture, understanding your language, regardless of what you decide to do in your life, whether you decide to be a doctor or a lawyer or, or a teacher or, or a good father or a good son, so that then as they get to be young adults, they're really mentally, and spiritually, and emotionally prepared to, to be successful members of the community whether it be the reservation community, whether it be the city community, whether it be their neighborhood community, whether it be America as a community. They're really able to do that because they have a good sense of um, this is who I am, this is where I'm from, and this is who I'll always be.